I want you to take a look at these two ChatGPT responses. Pretty different, right? One is boring, poorly formatted, and lacks tailored information, while the other response is robust, formatted like a pro, has custom tables, and more. Well, what if I told you that each responses were generated with the same exact prompt? The only difference being one of these had custom instructions activated, while the other did not. In this video, I'm going to go over custom instructions, why I think they're still relevant today, how I'm using custom instructions, and how you can use them. That way you can maximize your outputs and efficiency using ChatGPT. This is one of those features that if you don't know how to use it, and you don't know how to create good custom instructions, then your ChatGPT responses will be lacking. If you enjoyed this video or you like any of my other videos, then I'm positive that you would like my ChatGPT mastery course, which you are seeing right here. This is the back-end classroom where I have over 45 modules on how to use ChatGPT. And if you want to go more in-depth on custom instructions, then you should come to the course because I have five different modules on these. You'll even get access to my 300 custom personas template with the purchase of a course. And you'll also learn how I craft personas and output formatting with custom instructions and not only basic output formatting, but advanced output formatting as well. And with the purchase of the course, you get access to this community that's ever growing. There's over 400 people. You can ask questions about the content. You can go help other people that don't know as much as you about ChatGPT in the community who have questions you can answer them you can start long threads by yourself uploads videos and my goal with the group is just to stay on top of chat gpt with all the new features that are rolling out and helping each other out when anybody has a question so if the course is something that interests you i will be leaving a link in the description or the top pinned comment below i highly recommend you check it out so now let's dive into custom instructions how to activate them where are they located and what are they all about in order to activate and use custom instructions, the first thing you have to do is get there. So open up your sidebar and head down to the bottom left hand corner of the screen and click on your account. This will bring up a tab where you can access your settings, change your account, go to your GPTs and so on. But what we want to hit is customize chat GPT. So I'm going to select that and now you'll be prompted with this custom instructions section. And here you're prompted with two boxes. What would you like chat GPT to know about you in order to provide better responses? So you can type in information about yourself, like where you're based, what you do for work, what are your hobbies and interests, what subjects can you talk about for hours, and what goals do you have? And then the second section down here, how would you like ChatGPT to respond? This is how formal or casual ChatGPT should be, how long or short the responses should be, how you want to be addressed, should ChatGPT have opinions, should it not? This is kind of your response directions for ChatGPT. So a quick example, just to show you how these work in ChatGPT, for the what would you like ChatGPT to know about you section, I can type in something crazy like, I drink 20 coffees per day. And so now ChatGPT knows within every time it answers that it can take this into account. It knows that I now drink 20 coffees per day. So now with its responses, it will be thinking about this in the back end while it's responding to you on the front end. Then here you can really start to manipulate ChatGPT's output. So I'll do something dramatic just so you can see the change in output. So I told ChatGPT, end each response with, let's go, with a bunch of exclamation points. And it will follow that to a T. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six exclamation points in there. So what you'll notice is that after each response that ChatGPT gives us, it will respond with let's go in all caps with six exclamation points. You can really manipulate the way ChatGPT is outputting its information. And the beautiful thing about custom instructions is you only have to do this one time. Now I can hit save and I can ask ChatGPT, how many coffees do I drink per day? And then when I send that off, ChatGPT responds with, you drink 20 coffees per day, let's go, right? So you can really start to uh, prank people with this too. If you can get into their ChatGPT account, you can activate custom instructions that say some pretty funny stuff. But all jokes aside, how am I using custom instructions for success? As soon as custom instructions came out, I thought this is going to be super powerful because we can manipulate ChatGPT to craft into any persona any business type, any thought, any profession. You can really manipulate ChatGPT to be in the shoes of an expert in any field and have it give you tailored help that's actually for that situation. So that's what I did. I created 300 different personas so that whenever I dealt with anything in ChatGPT, I can quickly copy and paste instructions into the back end in order to get a more tailored experience when using ChatGPT and dealing with my problems. So as you can see, we're in my 300 custom personas database for ChatGPT. I have 10 different categories with 30 different personas in each. 
But as you can see, we can click into any one of these. Let me just click into Content Strategist. And as you can see, the custom instructions are already typed out for us. So when we copy these into ChatGPT, we open up our sidebar, we had to customize ChatGPT, and we paste it in. ChatGPT is taking on the role and the key criteria and responsibilities of a content strategist. And not only that, but I added this section. So now ChatGPT will be responding like a content strategist as well. And this is the way that I use ChatGPT for success. And the key criteria that I've used for each section and each bullet point of these custom instructions are what have led to the responses you saw in the beginning of this video. Those tailored responses with tables, exclamation points, emojis, a more custom fun experience in ChatGPT for solving your issues. So I can hit save and just like that, ChatGPT is thinking like a content strategist. So if I were to start a new chat, ChatGPT is now my professional content strategist. So I can send off a prompt like help me develop a content calendar for 2024 starting in March for my YouTube channel and artificial intelligence. And when I send that off with custom instructions activated, as you can see, the response will be much better than when I do it without. As you can see, it gives me a beautiful header with bullet points and it doesn't only give me the how to do something or the action to complete, but it gives me the why to do it. And that's the beautiful thing about this is I've set up these instructions in a way in order to get that information out, in order to ask follow-up questions and in order to provide things like this, an example content calendar with a table, with weeks and different themes, video titles, following the exact steps it took within here. It's kind of putting it into action and that's what makes this so beautiful. Just for fun, let's copy the same prompt and send it off without custom instructions activated. I'm going to start a new chat. I'm going to go to deactivate my custom instructions, hit save, and then I'm going to paste it in. And ChatGPT is ChatGPT, so it's going to do a good job regardless, but this helps you go the extra mile and become a top 1% prompter in ChatGPT when you start actually activating custom instructions and utilizing them in order to better format your responses. Like, what is this that ChatGPT is giving me? Week one, introduction to AI, what it is and isn't. It's just giving me like video ideas for certain weeks. It's not giving me how to develop a content calendar. It's not giving me an example table like it did with custom instructions activated. Just gives me a very, very broad overview of different AI videos I guess I could do. AI and smartphones, how is AI used in everyday devices? And the video ideas aren't good. That's why I like using something like custom instructions and the content strategist because when you start looking into this, it gives you the knowledge, it gives you the tools, it shows you how to fish. It doesn't just catch you a fish. It gives you everything you need to develop a specific content strategy for your specific channel. And it's not going to be so boring and generic. It gives you the tools to develop something successful and it even gives you nice examples. And these ideas are already much better than these ideas that it gave me here. Quantum computing and AI. If I titled a video quantum computing and AI, the video would completely flop. So custom instructions are amazing. The responses come out much more refined and tailored to the situation that you are dealing with. But how do you craft your own custom instructions if you don't wanna purchase something like the 300 personas? Well, that's what I'm about to show you. Let's learn how to craft good, effective instructions for ChatGPT. Crafting effective instructions for ChatGPT boils down to four steps. Step number one, you need to identify your issues with ChatGPT and write them down. And what I mean by issues with ChatGPT is the way that it's outputting this information. Maybe you don't like bullet lists at all, and you hate when ChatGPT generates bullet lists. Well, you can write that down as one of your issues. Maybe you don't like how ChatGPT doesn't provide you emojis. You can write that down as one of your issues. Here's an example of that. You can develop a problems pool in a virtual whiteboard on a piece of paper, whatever it may be, and you can list your problems with ChatGPT. Maybe, for example, like I said earlier, you don't like how ChatGPT has no emojis. Write that down. You don't like how it doesn't ask you follow-up questions. And you have to prompt in a command to ask me follow-up questions. And maybe you don't want to do that every single time. Maybe you wish it did it automatically. Write that down. Non-frequent table generation. Too many complex words. So these are all problems that people could have with ChatGPT. And they don't want to have to type them in a prompt each time. And they just want these things to be solid in the back end of ChatGPT so that your prompts can be shorter and more focused on the action-oriented items. Now, step number two of crafting effective instructions is to find your problems that you need solved and write them down. So why do you go to ChatGPT? What are the items you go to ChatGPT to have solved? Do you go to ChatGPT to help you with code, SEO, blog posts, content? What are the problems that you need solved? So that's what you can do in the next step is develop a need solved category. Maybe I go to ChatGPT for website design, marketing, SEO, and music production. So once you have all those down, step number three is craft personas around those problems. So we're just going to go straight down and we're going to start cr creating personas around those problems so ChatGPT can take on that professional role 
in the what would you like ChatGPT to know about you section as shown up here within ChatGPT. And these can be as simple as stating the profession and role, giving some key responsibilities, the jargon terminology, etc. about each one. So I like making this for each one. So that way ChatGPT knows the role that you're in so it can better respond to your issues. And finally, step number four is to craft a response protocol for ChatGPT. So let's head back up to our problem pool and we need all of these solved. So what are we going to do? Well, one time, that's all we have to do is one time we have to create a how would you like ChatGPT to respond to protocol. And what I mean by that is create something for this box down here, section number two. So ChatGPT responds how we want it to every single time. So as you can see, if I go back to my whiteboard here, when I scroll down, I have this little paragraph that solves all of these problems. Within each response, use emojis to max that fit the subject matter. So now we have emojis on the lock. Also use words that are more simple to understand and stay away from complex words. So now ChatGPT will not be using too many complex words. It's going to stick to more simple words. When you see fit, use tables for visual diagrams as I think that they are very helpful. So now ChatGPT will generate more tables without us having to prompt it in when we're typing off an action or a command or a question. And the last problem doesn't ask follow-up questions. We can solve that with a simple sentence. At the end of each response, ask a follow-up question to keep the conversation going and to dig deeper. So now all of our problems are solved that we have with ChatGPT within one prompt. Now I will admit, I did go a little bit crazy in my 300 personas database because I didn't just use the same output response like, I sh like I'm showing you here. But what I did is I crafted a unique output response for each persona so that the tonality and the energy level was different as well, not just the output formatting based on the profession. That's what makes that kind of cool is the tonality, the energy and everything about the profession and who works in that role, ChatGPT will be responding like with that database. But you can do something as simple as this if you're just after the output formatting. Now, some people come to me and tell me that GPTs are the new way of doing things and that custom instructions are obsolete, but I would disagree. Because first of all, custom instructions are still a feature within ChatGPT, which means they have a purpose. If they did not have a purpose anymore, then OpenAI would have done away with them. I think they provide a lighter, more versatile option when wanting to get custom outputs with ChatGPT because you don't have to create a bulky GPT with backend instructions and publishing and all of that. And also it's available to free users too. So free users can quickly customize the output of the GPT 3.5 model in order to get much better responses. So I think that kind of democratizes the whole GPT instructions. That's all that I have for this video. If you did enjoy it and you want to go further in depth, I highly recommend considering joining my ChatGPT Mastery course and community. I will leave a link in the top pinned comment or the description below if you are interested. If you did enjoy this video, please drop a like and subscribe. I would highly appreciate it. Turn on notifications so you never miss an upcoming ChatGPT video and you can be the first to learn all the secret sauce. Comment below letting me know your thoughts on custom instructions. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.